your boy Mike Vans and Black Friday. I'm catching me a motherfucking body. I'm a kid glue ass. Everybody know this. And if you don't know it, make sure you bring your ass down there. Black Friday. Make sure you call your boss, man. Tell him to get your fresh since you put your money up for the um for the battle and shit. Tell him make sure you get your little outfit. Body bag battle league. My nigga is going all the way to fuck down, man. Oh, what's good, baby? Black Friday, I'm in the building. BBBL, what up? Mike Bands, your fish eye fool. Mikey! Hey, yo, Mike, I'ma check under the rock. It ain't there. Hey, yo, Mike. Yo, Mike. I found your neck, B. You want it? It's your boy Mike Bands, and right now you rocking with Body Bag Battle League. What up, it's Glue Easy rocking with Body Bag Battle League. Trey for what up? Hey, I'm finna murder this motherfucking white boy. November the fucking 28th. Y'all motherfuckers better be up. November the 28th. Black Friday. Y'all come out and support, man. It's an AOG thing. You know? Now, I ain't really got no battle style, because I ain't, I ain't never battled before. This is going to be my first battle, but I'm going for the head, so. That's what it is. I'm killing a nigga. Soon as soon as my first bar, I'm killing a nigga. So I'm murdering a nigga. That's that's what my style is. Murder nigga. My battle style pretty much is just aggressive. You know what I mean, I mean mixed with the, with the punches. I'm known for the punches and shit like that. I just think my shit just more seasoned. You know what I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's just practice makes perfect. When I battle, I want to be at your neck. You know what I mean. That's, that's gonna be the exception for Mike Bands. You know what I mean, cause he ain't had a neck in like two years since he got fat. November the 28th, Black fucking Friday, I'm gonna kill that fucking white boy. Champion. My opponent, I know he's scary. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. I know the nigga scared of me. You know that. Battle style is, uh, other than having, you mean, punches and, and being able to capitalize on momentum in the room, I just say I'm aggressive, man. I mean, and I, I do my homework. Like, I find out who I'm battling and type shit, and then, you know I mean, I, I go from there. So my style is just is 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 direct to you, man. That, that's all I can say really about it. I mean, you tell me. I'm real familiar with my opponent. I know he's scared of me. I know he's real scary. Deep down inside, me and you, Glue, both know that you don't really want to do this battle. Down the way I called you out, my nigga. That's the only reason why you're gonna do it, cause I called you out. And you don't wanna look like a pussy in front of your camp, and I feel you. So the nigga's scared. He don't wanna battle me. In background is uh like I came up battling in high school, shit like that. Uh, did radio. I, I battled on the radio a lot. Me myself, I ain't feel like like going back looking at it and shit. I ain't feel like I was that nice back then. You know what I mean? But through diversity and shit like that, like I definitely stepped my pen game up. I just feel like like now the, the guy y'all seeing now is the best of me. You know what I mean? So I'm about to fuck somebody up, man. I say uh, his strength is. Uh, I have to say his strength will be his damn crowd because I know he's going to bring his camp with him, but I'm coming deep too. That's going to be his strength. And his weakness is when I damn start hitting with that crazy shit that he ain't expecting, he's going to fold. So he can't handle pressure. That's his weakness. I don't really know his strengths. Only strengths I know is that he's been doing it for a little minute. I mean, he's he one of them young guys that came up. So he's been rapping since he was young as hell. So, I mean, I got to give him that. Like, I ain't going to say he's a veteran. Cause he, I mean, he still don't do it. You know, he's consistent as as most people do. But uh, his weaknesses, his weaknesses is just not knowing his strengths. At, at the end of the day, like his weaknesses is not knowing his strengths. Like you can't just jump off the porch. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, I don't know. There's common sense to it. I mean, there's a lot of common sense that you gotta have. You can't just think he was nice as the next guy when you're not. I, I could have told him that. I mean, you're not fucking with me, bro. You gonna find out you're not fucking with me, man. Everybody else telling you you're not fucking with me. I mean, you should know you're not fucking with me. Bitch. My preparation process for the battle shit basically just get all the dirt I can on, which I already had, and expose it. That's it. Preparation easy, man. Cause I know the guy. You know what I mean? I've I've had run-ins with him over the years. So, like I know the guy. I know the people he be around. So there ain't really no preparation. It's just writing the bars and mixing in the facts. I mean, and getting my point across and saying what I want to say. So just be prepared to, you know what I mean, hear about yourself. That's it. 
I'm going personal and balls because I'm a lyrical ass nigga, so I'm going to do a little bit of both, but mostly personal. I'm going to make this motherfucking boy cry in front of everybody. So personal. A little mixture of both. I mean, but like at the end of the day, I know him, but I don't know him. I mean, I've heard rumors and shit about him, so ain't, I can't go too personal because I ain't going to speak on something that ain't fact. At the end of the day, I'm going to just address what I know, so. I know everything about the motherfucker, shit. That's all it is. That's my strongest attribute, knowing your opponent. Just more seasoned, man. I'm a veteran in this shit. I know what I can do and I know what I can't do. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just bringing my shit, man. I'm coming. I'm showing up, man. You've never heard me not show up. I can't remember losing, man. I can't remember losing. What I expect to gain the battle from Google his fucking white fan base. I need the fucking white people on my team. I got all the black people in the street, motherfuckers, but Glue, I need that fucking white crowd, buddy. <laughs> I ain't gonna gain shit from battling Mike Bands, man. I gained $500, man. You might pay my rent in December. Yeah, that's, about, that's about all I'm gonna get from this, man. Just the fact that I get to shut somebody up. See, the thing is, like, when I battle Chris Lewis, the whole reason I battle Chris Lewis is because it was the generation gap. It was the young rappers and the old rappers. And as soon as I battled Chris Lewis, the older generation of rappers felt like they boom talk sideways and you know I mean coming me wrong. Like, so now it's like I gotta battle everybody. You know what I mean, I was doing that shit for a reason, and y'all took my reasoning and said fuck you, like y'all always do, man. That's that's, that's what's wrong with the city. You know what I mean, can't nobody shine. Somebody gotta reach up and grab their leg and pull them back down. It is what it is, man. I'ma show everybody. I'ma show everybody. But you already knew that. My motivation for battling Glue, five hundred dollars. It was supposed to be in the thousand. I don't know what the fuck happened. I guess the nigga couldn't afford to put up the whole rack, so we had to chop it down to a half a man, so $500. My motivation for the battle is just, it was, the whole thing was funny to me at first, you know what I mean? And then I just got called left and right, people saying, hey, are you gonna do this? Will you even consider doing this? And then, you know what I mean? Then I factored in the money shit, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what? It's, it's November 28th, it's Black Friday. It's four days for my mom's birthday. It's a month before Christmas. Got three kids at the house. Got a girl. I got family to buy for. I need your 500, man. Provide me with that 500, man, so my family be happy. That's the motivation, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing he gonna say to me, you know what I mean? Gonna stop me. So I already know I'm gonna win. I mean, I already know I'm gonna win. So why not take a battle? You know what I mean? Um, I ain't really worried about the booze, cause like I know the shit that I'm gonna say is real shit. And it's gonna be a real crowd in there, so. Real motherfuckers respect real shit, so the booze I ain't worried about. It. My biggest thing is trying to calm the crowd down from the shit that I'm gonna say so that we can continue to battle and shit, but I ain't worried. I'm not worried about the crowd. For one, I know my favorite in the room. And uh, if you really know your shit, you ain't gotta worry about the crowd at all. I mean, you're the only one that can fuck yourself up. I mean, of course, there's gonna be somebody loud in the background. You gotta have to stop, pause, and all that. You gotta prepare for that shit, man. You gotta understand that that shit might happen. You gotta know your strong points when you rapping. Might be every four bars, might be every eight. You might know you're gonna say something, you know what I mean? In, in four bars, it's gonna make the crowd go crazy. You better go ahead and be prepared for that, man. You gotta know your shit, point blank. I'm gonna say he got a fan base. He definitely got a fucking fan base. I seen that on Facebook. But the street, like the real street niggas, fuck no. Don't know real street niggas fuck with that nigga. If they do, it's off the strength of him fucking with DDE. But nah, don't know street motherfuckers fuck with Google. And that's a proven fact. You'll see now, you, you gonna see on the 28th. I don't really know if they fuck with Mike Band's music cause I've never, I personally never really heard too much Mike Band's music. When I heard Mike Band's, he was in a group called Third Degree with Louis G. And I pretty much, I think that's where this all stems from is cause we, we approached Louis G to come over to AOG and, and rock with us. And uh, I don't know how it happened, but I guess Rick said, you know, he didn't really want Mike part of AOG, he just wanted Louis. So I think I think Mike feels a certain way about that. That's why he's always coming, you know what I mean, coming sideways at people. But uh I don't know, man. I have never really heard nobody speak his name. Louis G, I, I've heard people speak Louis G name plenty of times. So I mean maybe it's just within itself, it's his own insecurities and shit like that that made him want to jump off the porch. You know what I mean? it's, it's gonna happen to him. It's gonna happen to him. Um, I just like the platform that is providing for the artists and shit, you know, like like them um, give, giving the artists more exposure and shit because I know it's a lot of people who, like who is Mike Bands and this and that and who is Glue Easy and damn um, you feel me like 
the the it's just it's just a good ass platform for the artists and shit. So shout out to Bill, Shice, Bumpy, all that man. Body Bag Battle League is great because it's allowing the city to actually be seen. <clears throat> There's another battle league in the city that was that was working in uh it was more in house. You know what I mean? I didn't really see them reaching out to the actual rappers in the city with names. Those rappers in the city that na with names that could bring out people to your venues. Y'all wasn't even acknowledging that. And then when, like, I, I would say I'm probably the first one to reach out. I reached out to them and said, hey, I'll come battle somebody at your event. And they tried to play me like I was a newcomer, you know what I mean? So I was like, all right, then. You know what I mean? I gave them the side eyes from then on. And it just kept on being, like, constant disrespect towards the other rappers in the city. But, like, when you're doing something in the house and you got everybody, everybody in your little venue know each other and they battling within each other. But there's other cats around them that could step in and you know I mean help your whole situation and build your brand up and y'all just shun them out like you know I mean like they not even around I mean so we pretty much uh we took that upon ourselves to, to create a platform that allows everybody I mean there's 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 beefs in the city that need to be uh solved you know I mean there's there's a history of the city that that the other guys don't know about that needs to be brought to light so it's just it's just it's time to showcase the actual the, the lyricists and the the rappers in the city that, that have names and uh I don't know man it, it's just more to the city than the other side you know what I mean so we, we trying to show you the other side the champ is in this motherfucker oh boys and body bag the champ is here again this is your boy Mike Bands and it's going down Black Friday November the 28th from catching me a fucking body after I get full from all that damn food Thursday Cause you know I'm a big nigga, I like to eat And I'm gonna kill glue and I'm gonna eat this motherfucker alive Glue you fucking dead boy You don't even know it, you're a walking fucking dead man nigga What up, it's your boy Glue Easy. Catch me Black Friday at Duban Benny's I'm battling Mike Broke, you ain't never heard of him